and Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion News from Taiwan or Formosa. The Taipei City Animal Protection Office carries out a number of programs to ensure the safety and well-being of animals. These include an animal shelter and adoption service, a 24-hour animal rescue phone-in line, and dog-friendly bus and park initiatives. The office opened Taipei's first cat shelter in 2020 as well, with 45 total shelters planned. Following a ban on euthanizing stray animals, the department has also increased its efforts to encourage adoption. One such initiative supports the adoption of older animals by offering free insurance for dogs and cats over the age of seven. In recognition of the department's kind consideration for older animals, Supreme Master Qin Hai gratefully present the Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion to the Taipei City Animal Protection Office. With high salute and heartfelt gratitude for your caring initiative in heaven's blessings and protection. Our association members in Taipei were delighted to present the award letter, crystalline plaque, and master's publications and DVDs to the Taipei City Animal Protection Office. We congratulate everyone at the Taipei City Animal Protection Office and appreciate your compassionate endeavors. We pray that through heaven's mercy, all companion animals in need may live out their lives in safe and happy homes. For the full presentation of the Shining World Leadership Award for Compassion to the Taipei City Animal Protection Office, please tune in to our Shining World Awards program at a later date. Species of sharks, rays, and others are now faced with extinction. A recent analysis of the Red List from the International Union for Conservation of Nature, or IUCN, has revealed that 316 species of sharks, rays, chimeras, and skates now face extinction due to humans cruelly killing them for their meat, oil, and fins. Other reports reveal several issues of concern, including on the reporting by the fishing industry on which marine species are being caught a lack of monitoring, and an increase in shark and ray poaching during the COVID-19 pandemic. Our thankful regards, International Union for Conservation of Nature and others, for helping to keep a watchful eye on the plight of the world's animal species. In divine love, may humans stop harming and eating them immediately in order to halt the current mass extinction of precious beings on the planet. Up next, German startup creates medical mask factory to help protect citizens. German startup starts producing medical masks locally. Founded in 2020, a company called Your Mask has begun mass manufacturing FFP2 face masks, which are now mandatory in the state of Bavaria. Since recently, surgical masks are required in supermarkets and on public transportation throughout the nation. FFP2 masks are around 94% effective at filtering and are said to protect both the wearers and those around them. Your mask is currently making 120,000 units per day, working with 70 employees, and soon hopes to operate around the clock and produce 250,000 daily. 
CEO Matati Ernich stated, We want to be able to say that we are producing as much as possible to make sure as many people as possible can get the mask and be protected. Our gratefulness, Matati Ernich and your mask team, for addressing a crucial need. In celestial grace, may the pandemic soon subside as the loving vegan energy of more humans helps to lift our world. In Australia, a bountiful season leads to more kerosene cicadas. There has been a recent mass emergence of cicadas and thus louder than usual songs in the states of New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia. According to veterinary immunologist Dr. David Emery of the University of Sydney, one reason for this is the abundant rainfall the country experienced in 2020 following the drought, which has led to wood vegetation regrowth. Such large emergencies occur once in several years. Australia is known as the world's cicada capital, housing over 700 species. The chirping bugs are beneficial for nature by aerating the soil, pruning mature trees, and when they pass on, providing an important source of nitrogen for growing trees. Thank you for the good news, Dr. David Emery. May the impressive resounding sounds of the cicadas be enjoyed each year as nature flourishes in the love of the providence. 81-year-young certified nursing assistant honored for her exemplary service. The Surrey Community Health and Rehabilitation Center in Mount Airy, North Carolina, United States, chose Tatiana York or Tania as their Employee of the Month and also recognized her perfect attendance in 2020. Ms. Yop, lovingly addressed as Grandma, worked 10-hour shifts and did volunteer work at the center on weekends. The selfless professional remarked, I have to keep going because if I sit down and close my eyes to what the world needs and not offer the care and love for them, I would be nothing. She also would sing to the patients as she demonstrated for the local channel WXII 12. Each day I do a golden deed by helping those who are in need. My life on earth is but a span, and so I do the best I can. Our heartiest felicitations to Nia Yop. Your inspiring devotion reminds us to think of others. In God's warmth, may we each help to build a paradise of kindness and contentment on earth. British celebrities' plant-based burger chain releases vegan fish burger. Seven-time Formula One race car champion and passionate vegan activist Sir Lewis Hamilton, who is also a shining World Right Business Award laureate, has launched a Fileno fish burger at his vegan restaurant chain Neat Burger in London, United Kingdom. The innovative burger mimics the texture, improves on the taste, and is better for the environment compared to its fish-based counterpart. The patty is created by the UK's Jack and Bry that specializes in plant-based jackfruit alternatives. It can be ordered as part of the Fileno fish burger or the Fileno fish bowl. Bravo, Needburger, for providing this delicious and compassionate new option. In the guidance of the divine, may we all soon live happily in a vegan world. North Carolina court rules to resume saving red wolves from extinction. In a landmark case, the United States District Court for the Eastern District of North Carolina has ruled that the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service must continue its successful practice of releasing captive red wolves to join their wild counterparts in the red wolf recovery area in North Carolina. There are as few as seven red wolves remaining in the wild today. Ben Prater, a program director at the nonprofit conservation group Defenders of Wildlife, said, Releasing wolves into the wild is a common sense, science-backed approach to boost this population and stave off the red wolves' extinction. Our appreciation U.S. District Court in North Carolina, Defenders of Wildlife and others involved, 
for taking action to protect the vulnerable red wolves. May your continued efforts to defend the lives of our irreplaceable animal friends be rewarded with heaven's limitless blessings.